B-Dale then, back nine, definitely a hidden gem. Only £30 for an afternoon green fee, so delighted with that so far. Greens are pure as anything. And we're starting with a par five. Slight left to right dog leg and a gigantic tree that looks a bit ominous up the right. So thread the needle. That might be the best drive of my life. Happy with that. Let's go make a birdie. That was one of my best swings with the driver and we've still got three wood to go on this par five. Gotta believe in myself. And don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. On the road to scratch goal and to a thousand subscribers, so get in on it early. That's two of the better golf shots I've hit in my entire life and it's straight at the pin. I hope it's enough club, because that could be out of this world. <laughs> Well, it's humbling to see two of my better shots and I'm still a long way short of the green. But, beggars can't be choosers. Just trying to land this like a butterfly with sore feet on the front edge. Well, I landed it a bit short and it bounced soft, which is a surprise. But we're putting for birdie. Can't complain too much. Although I'll try. It's time for one to drop. I'm willing it in. Yes, finally. Nearly early called it, but it still went in. Another four on a par five. Last one of the day though, unfortunately for me. And this hole is aptly named Elbow because it's a massive left to right dog leg. So I've got hybrid and I'm going over the corner of the trees and praying to the golfing gods that that's okay. That's really got to get legs. That's hit all kinds of trees. Shouldn't toss your club, never do that, kids. I'm gonna to have to go find that in the trees and hack it out. God help me. Well, I found it, but it's not pretty. It's a chip out. And even that's not a given, because it's a terrible lie. That'll do, I've got it to the fairway. Right, we need something a bit special here to get up and down for par. Got 124 to the middle, so I'll play it as such. I pulled it, get down, somehow get on the green. Uh, struggling on this hole, I think it's fair to say. I think realistically, just need to land this on and let it run out to the flag. Just like that. Tiny misread, and it's still a bogey, but it could have been a heck of a lot worse. Duh, not the end of the world after hitting a good chip and no other good shots on there. Okay, nice looking par three, and it's called Curlew Call, which you see a lot of those at Bracken Gill, which is nice. 145 yards, pins tucked on the left-hand side, so probably shouldn't mess with that. But where's the fun in that? Keep drawing and go in the hole. I'm short. Why do I say those things? Uh, well, that's going to be fun from there. Stick around for my up and down attempt. Well, the only benefit to this is I've stayed on the upslope, but it's a little awkward. However, but the shot itself is actually quite straightforward. Straight up the green with a bit of right to left swaz on it. Why not me today? Oh, it's a bit aggressive. That came out so much lower than I thought and now we've got a horrid downhill left to righter. And my putting is so good that it's gonna go in. Game is in a bit of turmoil. I know that when my chipping's not on form then I'm struggling. Six feet then downhill and a bit of left to right for a par and some serious concerns about my golf game if we don't make this. But we did. Golf game is moderately fine and it's a three on the scorecard. Oh this is this is very tiring. 
Okay, absolutely stole a three there. Nearly put all my clubs on eBay again. They're living a charmed life. But let's be honest, it's nothing to do with them. It's all me. 360 yard par four here. Over the marshlands, which is pretty cool. Just ripping one up the left side with a fade towards the bunkers. It's a bit of a healy fade, but it's actually on a perfect line. Yeah, probably bad enough that it won't reach the bunkers, which is brilliant. Well, I came dressed for potential rain with my rain resistant trousers on. And I finally dispensed with the jumper to reveal my firebox polo. I've got 53 yards to the front, so that's what I'm playing for. Just chuck it in there. Going. Why have I said that? Hopped a little bit left, but we have a birdie opportunity. Looks like about two and a half feet. We're not discussing this one. You're just gonna see it go in. I hate golf. Sorry, I changed that, I hate myself. Confidence is taking a beating. We're on to 14, the 380 yard par four, and it is narrow. I've just watched Paul belt one down the middle, so I'm gonna try and copy that. Cut. Oh, it's so close to that tree line. Uh, it's okay, but I think I might be blocked out. I'm gonna keep battling. Everybody has bad days. It's not the end of the world, and I'm enjoying the course despite my bad golf. Got a few tree limbs to consider here, so I'm just gonna have to chip a nine iron. It's only 120 yards, so try and land it a little short and just roll it up there. Managed to clip the only branch, but hopefully it's not affected it. Oh, it's just trickling to the front edge. All right, that's not bad to a front flag. I'll take that. All right, let's see if I can nestle this one tight and get off here with a par. I am so bad. I've just decelerated the worst ever. Thank goodness for that. We are hanging on by a thread. <laughs> uh, I don't know how, but we've survived to the 15th. 350 yard par four. But I'm going to have to be very tight with the trees because I don't have a drawer in the locker. Heading off to the right a tiny bit, it needs to cling. Yep, it's fine. It's right of the fairway, but I saw it bounce many times. Now, Luke, if you're watching this video, I know it's nothing to do with you whatsoever, but I'm blaming you for my loss of form. He'll know what I mean. I've got 82 to the front, bit of a jumpy lie, so I'm just gonna hit a full sand wedge, looking to hit it about 90, and that should do me pretty well, I would say. That looks pretty good. Like 10 feet right of the flag, but we might have found our golf swing somewhere. Right, this is going in. I don't mind that the attempt at breaking par is gone. I'm still fist pumping it. Sneaky bit of right to left, that's all. Ah! <laughs> ah, I guess that's all I deserve. How on earth I've contrived to hit myself on the backside with my putter is beyond me. Then we'll have to settle for a par and butt pain. Right, after a picturesque walk and about a million attempts to talk through this hole, it's 147 yards down the hill. So I'm hitting an A-time because it's into the wind. The green looks tiny. It's on a nice line. I hesitate to say go in and it's bounced straight right. But we have ourselves a birdie putt, which have been few and far between today in all honesty. Now is my time, golf friends. Got a bit lucky to get pin high, I feel like, but I'm not gonna complain. 
if you need a bit of luck in golf. Honestly, shout out to B-Dale's greens keepers because these greens are some of the best I've ever played on in all honesty. Unfortunately, I've held absolutely nothing all day. But that's down to me. Ah, another one goes begging, unfortunately. The putting has been rubbish, but we seem to be clambering back into the golf game somewhere. It's like walking through Narnia. How lovely. Well, after another nice walk, we've made it to hole 17 named Jubilee. Not sure why, this appears to be some trees short of the green, which look annoyingly closing in. Driver, let's finish strong, come on. Well, that's arrow straight up the left. Went where I aimed it, just with no cut. No idea if that's good or bad. Thankfully, I'm far enough left to have a line into this green, but similar to earlier, I just have to chip a nine iron through the gap, roll it onto the green, give myself a putt at birdie and maybe hole it. Oh, I just bounced it through the rough. Oh, actually, I'm putting, no complaints. Into the pond we go when this drops. Come on, please, for my sanity. Got a chance. Oh, it went way to the right. Yeah, never any doubt. Yeah, tiny bit left edge, but no complaints. No pictures on the scorecard, as they say. On to 18. Tough finishing hole then, left to right dog leg. 390 it's playing. Let's finish well. Shout out to B-Dale, thank you for hosting us today. Beautiful course, tricky holes, don't expect it all your own way but I would definitely recommend, it's very nice. Ah, that's a nice one to finish on, I'll remember that. I think I've actually gone through the fairway, but I'll take that all day. Just figured out that I'm level par for the back nine, so let's just finish with a nice birdie here. For all my moaning, I've actually played quite nicely. Just a smooth 56 should land me on the front, roll up to the flag, tap in, go home happy. Straight at it, be the right number, it's way short. Roll up. Well, I've got away with it, it bounced firm. Let's go make a putt. Come on! Right, one last putt and a somewhat surprising one under back nine in prospect. It's got to get legs. Might well have been online. And we've ended the video pretty much how we started it, in a somewhat deflating manner. See you all next time. Goodbye.